Hi, welcome to Matt Holman Golf. Um, I just wanted to share some footage with you of, uh, we've got Frederick Jakobsen on the left hand side and Bubba Watson on the right hand side. I haven't seen this footage posted online so I thought I'd share it with you. Um, they've both got very different sort of styles to their short game but also hitting two very different shots. So we've got Frederick Jakobsen on the left hand side really sort of hitting a, definitely a higher than normal shot, a lob shot. Um, and then Bubba on the right hand side playing is sort of his low shot that he's sort of known for. Um, so I really like to see uh, a short game technique. I think if you look at some of the other videos that I've posted a little bit what more what Pete Cowan would teach uh, James Seekman in America where the, the shaft is a little bit more up and down at address and releasing through impact and using the bounce. You know, having said that, you know, look at someone like Bubba Watson you know it has an extreme technique in the other way you know it's one two masters obviously you know a great short game player takes big divots with his uh, wedge play so just look how much you know you can see his aim sort of right there or open relative to his target line ball is on, off his back ankle um, you know he's got this centered look there so try and find some commonalities between the two methods and I think one that you'll find is whatever technique these guys are going to use they're going to stay quite centered over the ball um, and stay there the body motion is going to be similar they may use the shaft differently and I'd say the real great short game players you know if we said a Seve they're going to vary it you know at times the ball is going to be quite far back and using lots of shaft lean you'll see this with Tiger and Ernie Els other times the shaft's very up and down and they're releasing the shaft the key is obviously matching the technique to what you see and also the grass is very important you know we start getting a lot of leading edge um, sort of off Bermuda then that club tends to stick in where or maybe on Lynx ground you know on English coastal courses then that's fine that's going to help you know reduce the bounce through impact so you can see Bubba there he's going to stay nice and centered you know, with lots of these you'll see the head if anything moving forward but look how much shaft lean he's got so they always talk about sort of a frame past the ball the shaft being sort of up and down there but you can see also off that ground he's just stuck that club head in with so much shaft lean you know and the club sort of digs in so I would say that's definitely a method tool and a, a way to play your short game shots the problem with that I teach a lot of better players that have the ball back really try and lean the shaft through impact and you have to be so precise you know like what you saw with Tiger it's very easy one to thin shots and even more for that leading edge to dig into the ground and and duff shots um, so we've got Freddie on the the left hand side is really known as one of the best sort of chippers and putters on the PJ tour he's just got the record for the sort of most consecutive um, days without a three putt or rounds without a three putt so you're going to see in his technique shafts very much up and down at setup you're going to actually see the head's going to go slightly forward that, that guarantees he hits in front of the ball this is someone like James Seekman that I've done some work with always talk about he talks about sort of an anti-fundamental um, where actually in most good chippers the head moves forward slightly which it does and it's actually going to stay there now another thing you tend to see in a lot of very good wedge players for instance see Steve Stricker you know they've got this quite wide look between their left arm and the the club shaft there and now he's going to sort of stay there with the head and just release the shaft aggressively so you can see the head's very much stayed forward so that guarantees his low point is in front of the ball. Now he can go ahead and release the shaft as much as he likes. So you can see, you know, you would often call that sort of flipping the club head or the, the shaft through the ball. You know, he'd really release that. But where the head is forward of the ball, then he can really use the bounce. And then everything turns and moves through. 